Hello, hello, and welcome to At Home with Lucas. So we're going to be talking about Amazon Solimo Dark Roast K-Cups. So I was on Amazon doing what I do best, looking for some good deals on coffee, and I found their Dark Roast 24-pack uh, for 5 bucks. That's right, 5 bucks. Snatched two of those up real quick. And in this video, we're going to be doing a hands-on with the box, hands-on with a K-Cup, and then we're going to put it to the K-Mini and do a brew test. And then we're going to do my favorite part, the sip test. And then we'll talk about the coffee a little bit more, and that'll be it. So let's go ahead and check it out. Okay, let's take a look at this bad boy right quick. So when you look at the box, right away you're like, I have no idea what company this is. I have no idea what is actually in here. Um, and it's kind of cryptic almost um, until you turn it to the side or the front and you realize, boom, this is coffee. This is the dark roast. Um, once again, purchase this off of Amazon because it is very cheap. And if you look right here, this is so cool. This is 0.42 ounces per K cup. So the last one that I did, Happy Belly, which is also an Amazon company, this is an Amazon company. The last one I did was, was 0.33. So this is going to have more uh, bang for your buck. So keep that in mind when you're buying K-Cups. Each cup is different. They're not all created equal. Let's take a look on the side. It shows you how to make a K-Cup. That's very cool. Let's look at the Best Buy date. Okay, so this product is not old. It is still fresh. Cuckoo. All right. Now let's go ahead and crack this box open. So it has the easy open, easy access cutout. Sometimes these cutouts are actually easier to open. I'm going to do this like a wild consumer and not really... Yeah, so that is exactly what happened last time when I just tried to pull it like anyone would. The way that the cutouts are set up, they do not break easily. So I'm someone who is super into the way things look. Okay, so let's take a look at this K-Cup. Yeah, so the, you can feel that it's heavier than a zero... 0.33 this is definitely heavier and if you shine this up to a light you're gonna see well that doesn't make it any different okay if you shine it if you hold it up to a light you'll see that it's probably uh down to about here with gr with the coffee grounds normally you'd see it about half full um yeah that feels dense that's good okay let's take a look at the front this looks identical to happy belly very minimal design. I like the look of it. Um, you're not going to mistake this for a blonde or a light roast. You're, you're, you're going to see this and go, yep, that's a dark roast. Um, so that's very cool. Very simple. Um, I'm going to actually show you a picture of what this looks like inside. I'll show it to you right now. All right, there you go. That's pretty cool, huh? Most people don't think about the fact there is a coffee filter in here and that um, nobody ever talks about the coffee filter. You know, people are always saying, you know, coffee filters pull out the oil, use them. Other people say don't use a coffee filter because you want the oil because um, it's good for you. People say it's bad for you. Um, but K-Cups all have filters, uh, so they're all going to pull out the oil. So when you make a, a K cup, essentially you're getting a very oilless cup of coffee, which might be good for your tum tum <laughs> might be might be bad. I don't know. Um, but next up, we're going to put this to the K mini test. We're going to be brewing it up in the Keurig. And then we'll be on to the sip test. So let's go ahead and jump into it. Okay, let's put this dark roast to the Keurig test. So this is my K-Mini. This is actually a replacement K-Mini because my last one died. Um, so if you want to watch that video, I'll, I'll link it down below where I talk about how it died and I talk about the fact that the old K-Mini was actually causing my K-Cups to taste 
terrible. Like the, the, the heater element had gone out, the pump had gone out, so the pressure was gone, the heat was gone, and I just, you know, assumed it was just working perfectly. But let's go ahead and take a look at this stream that's going to come out of this new K-Mini. Alright, ooh, it's looking rich. Look at that. Now, once again, I do use a filter just to make it look more close to the natural eye. Um, but yeah, that is a rich, strong stream. Um, very, very nice. I'm, <clears throat> I'm very happy with that. Yeah, I'm definitely going to be getting clear coffee mugs. So when I do this part of the video, you can actually see the richness of the coffee in the mug. Because right now you just basically are getting a bird's eye view. And we want to get a fish eye view. Is that right? I don't know. <laughs> we want to see inside of the Z cup. That's what we want. So I will be hunting on Amazon for some clear mugs. Um, and then, of course, I'm going to have to do the legwork of filming through um, glass. So we'll see how perfect that actually turns out because you have to light it right and, and you know set the camera up and all that, which I use a uh, Samsung Note 10 Plus to film all of this. So that is my only camera. That's what I run with. All right, so that is looking like a very rich, very nice cup of coffee. Okay, this is going to be a different sip test than normal. Normally, I film the video and then I do the audio over the video. I do a voiceover. But in this one, I wanted to just test out how it would be if I talked as I did the sip test. So, I have my brand new lapel mic down there, which I have a video that I did on that. And I'm going to post that. I think before this video, maybe after, so you might find a link down below or you might have to wait and see if the video pops up on my channel, if that's something you want to watch. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and give it a, give it a smell test. So it has a very strong, it has a very strong smell to it. A little burnt, I would say the first thing you smell is something burnt. Um, so dark roast, you know, they have to do something to make it dark and that's usually burning it. So the, the smell you get is something that is, um, it's familiar, um, a little earthy to it. Um, but we'll go ahead and give it the sip test. Yes. So the first hit is burnt, and then it's a little bitter, um, and then it's a little smoky and and earthy. So there, those are the notes you get right away. Yeah, it's it's not a bad it's not a bad drink. It's definitely. It's definitely enjoyable. It's a little, it's a little light. Um, the K cups basically strip all the oil out. Um, so when you're drinking a K cup, you're getting an oil free cup of coffee. And that will give it a little bit more of a watery, a little bit less body. I like more oil in my coffee. Some people think you need you need to remove it. But I don't see why you would need to remove oil. Um, I'll wait until somebody tells me, maybe in the comments down below, why oil is not good for your coffee. Go ahead, comment. But yeah, normally I don't do um, my voiceovers. Um, sorry, normally I don't film audio with my sip test because I have uh, usually Sesame Street running and my awesome little toddler right there. <laughs> uh, stay at home dad life. So I try to limit the 
background noise and just do voiceovers uh, with the podcasting mic that I have. Yeah, I would definitely say this is an enjoyable cup of coffee. I would say for the price um, that I paid, <laughs> five bucks, you can't beat it for 24. They are not, um, they're not half K cups, they're full K cups, which is really good. So you're actually gonna get a decent cup of coffee and you probably don't have to do a double shot, meaning two K cups for one cup of coffee. I probably should start doing that. I'm going to start doing that. I think for my sip test, I'm going to do a double shot, a two K cups for one cup. So basically you just put in four ounces for each cup and that'll get you a strong hit. He's getting restless. We gotta, we gotta wrap this up guys. But yeah, I would definitely give this, um, I would give it, I would give it four stars. I'd say this is a solid four star drink. It's a dark roast, so you know what you're gonna get. It's not gonna be that blonde, light roast. It's gonna be that heavy hitter. Uh, I would say it's in between a French roast and a, and, a, and a medium roast. I'd say it's like right in the middle of that. It's not quite French roast, but it's, uh, yeah, it's close. All right, so that's, that's the sip test, four stars. Okay, so before you guys go, I wanted to let you know that I did the double shot. Yes, I put two K-cups into one 12-ounce cup of coffee, and I'm going to tell you how I did it. So it was actually quite simple. What I did was I put 12 ounces of water into the K-mini. I started the brew. Once it got to about halfway in the cup, about five ounces, I opened the lid. I, I basically flipped, the, opened the top of it, and then pulled out the boiling hot K-cup. You got to be very careful, guys. Don't burn yourselves. I pulled out the K-cup, put it aside, put the new one in, and then closed it back up, and boom, it started brewing the second K-cup. Now, it didn't go, it didn't brew as much as I thought it would, so I must have gone to like six ounces, and because there was only a few seconds worth of, of brewing, and then it was done. Um, but my cup of coffee, it smells insanely strong, which is really good for doing a sip test. I'm going to give it a smell right now. Yeah, it smells so strong, like holy moly. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and do a sip test off camera on mic. This has never before been done on this channel. Um, so let's go ahead and give it the sip test. Oh, wow. Oh, that's strong. It's not bad, though. It's actually not bad. Wow. This might be the way that I do it from now on. That is actually quite good. Wow. Yeah, not bad at all. Now, not recommended to do it the way I did it. I would recommend doing four ounces in the K-mini, run a K-cup, pull out that one, throw it away, put four more ounces in, run it once more. But I did it just to experiment and just to see what it what it, what it was like. So there you go. That's a bonus sip test. That's a K-mini hack. Do it. All right, there you go. That's the Salimo Dark Roast. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely hit that like button. And if you want to see more videos from me and you want to stick with this channel and be a part of uh, you know the at-home crew, um, I just made that up. Don't know if that's going to be the name. Could be at home crew. That's kind of cool. I don't know. Anyways, hit that subscribe button. Be a part of the at home crew. Join this channel. You won't regret it. I'm constantly making new content. I'm constantly striving to get better with my filming and my audio, my presentation, presentation, one of those, and just constantly trying to just better this channel because I'm here for the long haul. But as always, I thank you so much for watching each and every one of my videos and I will catch you in the next one. Bye bye.
Okay, let's take a look at this bad boy right quick. Now, when you look at this, you are like, I have no idea what this is. Like, can you say hi to YouTube? Can you say hi, YouTube? Can you say hi? Can you say hi to YouTube people? You gonna give them a smile?